Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today we continue to look at new commanders from the upcoming set, Duskmorn. Leading today's deck is the creepy toy, Arabella Abandoned Doll. And since we've done a lot of higher budget decks recently, today's deck comes in at under $100. Also, and I know it's annoying to keep hearing this, but statistically if I don't ask you to like and subscribe, the video gets fewer subscribers. Arabella Abandoned Doll is a 2-mana 1-3 legendary artifact creature toy. Whenever Arabella attacks, it deals X damage to each opponent, and we gain X life, where X is the number of creatures we control with 2 or less power. So this will be a weenie deck. White weenie is an archetype that is almost as old as magic itself, so my veteran watchers should be familiar with the term. We want small creatures. We can attack with them if things are favorable, but the only card we really need to attack with is our commander. Of course, we'll want some support for our plan as well. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard is always innovating, and recently they've unveiled their new Druidic Secrets boulders. Turn your deck box into a mystical place. These gorgeous boulders come in a variety of colors and patterns, like this lavender-colored one, celebrating the movements of the planets. Study the future so you can be prepared with the new Druidic Secrets boulder. Pick one up from your local game store or order one from Amazon. Link down below. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. Oh, one more quick announcement before we get started. I'm going to be streaming on Musings by Danon as well as Twitch. It'll mostly be Final Fantasy XIV, but you're more than welcome to pop in and talk about Commander. Honestly, about half my streams are talking about manga, anime, or Commander. For lands, we're running Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Clifftop Retreat, Alpine Meadow, Sacred Peaks, Battlefield Forge, Fury Calm Snarl, Temple of Triumph, Rustvale Bridge, Boros Guildgate, Boros Garrison, Lorehold Campus, Myriad Landscape, Evolving Wilds, Terramorphic Expanse, Scavenger Grounds, Rogue's Passage, Ten Mountains, and nine planes. Nice and budget. Our mana ramp consists of Solemn Simulacrum, Knight of the White Orchid, Core Cartographer, Captain Lannery Storm, Felwar Stone, Walking Atlas, Starnheim Corsair, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Conviction, Boros Signet, Fire Diamond, Marble Diamond, and Mind Stone. A good mix of on-theme ramp and staples, as it should be. For card advantage, we've got Mentor of the Meek, Welcoming Vampire, Karmic Guide, Rumor Gatherer, Mangara the Diplomat, Teshar Ancestor's Apostle, Inspiring Overseer, Enduring Innocence, Split Skin Doll, Skull Clamp, Imperial Recruiter, and Irreverent Gremlin. Lots of new cards from Duskmorn helping out with our theme of small creatures. For interaction and spot removal, we've got Avon Mind Sensor, Skyclave Apparition, Eidolon of Rhetoric, Kenjali's Sunwing, Swords to Plowshares, Path to Exile, Boros Charm, Generous Gift, A Braid, Chaos Warp, Destroy Evil, and Disenchant. Lots of ways to keep our opponents in line. Our board wipes consist of Dusk Dawn and Blasphemous Act. Gotta love having at least one wipe that leaves our board alone. The core of our deck consists of Dualcaster Mage, 
Krenko, 10 straight kingpin. Loyal Apprentice. Siege Gang Commander. Legion Warboss. Grateful Apparition. Grenzo Havoc Razor. Agate Instigator. Secure the Wastes. Adeline Resplendent Cathar. Molten Gatekeeper. The Jolly Balloon Man. Sky Knight Vanguard. Call the Coppercoats. Assemble the Legion. And Raid Bombardment. Supporting our plan, we've also got Selfless Spirit. Windborn Muse. Mother of Runes. Giver of Runes. Selfless Savior. Impact Tremors. And Reconnaissance. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 36 lands and 14 pieces of brain. Right on target. 12 pieces of card advantage. 12 pieces of interaction. 1 piece of graveyard hate in scavenger grounds. 1 sudden eye win card in raid bombardment. Our commander can deal a ton of damage, assuming we have a board full of creatures. If we swing out with our commander as well as an army of weenies and raid bombardment is on the battlefield, we can double that up and close out games very quickly. Of course, if we use Dust Dawn to clear a path, that's even better. I really like this commander, and I was happy that I was able to fit great cards in like Mother of Runes and Skullclamp. I know I could have gotten the budget lower if I'd left those out, but where's the fun in that? Are you building an Arabella Abandoned Doll deck? What direction are you taking the deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to Meta to Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash You can have a video made or just ask for help building or tuning a deck list. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Dariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Brett, Roxy, Borgie, Naswin, Midge, Alex, Conga, Aaron, Chris, Robert, Austin, William, Pye, Turner, Triz, Kazaris, Slack, Booksu, Patrick, Vox, Liam, and Travis. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Dana.